everyone, welcome to my channel. This channel is about to share the information and my personal experience of taking care of orchids, especially in New Phoenicia Falcata. I found it hard to get the right information on the internet somehow, and that's why I started this channel, to share everything I know about this magical gene. If you are interested in New Phoenicia Falcata, please subscribe my channel. If you think this video helps, please give me a thumbs up. Cheers! Today I want to introduce one of my new Phoenicia called Corte. I bought it from Satomi recently, and I even made a pot for it. The plant is cute, the pot is cute, and I already fell in love with this combination. Okay, let's get started. Corte means emperor in Japanese. But this is the emperor of ancient China instead of Japan. The emperor of Japan is called Tenno, and the emperor of ancient China is called Kote. So this is a variety with a powerful name. Kote, I mean a plant, has thick leaves and thick roots. Very sturdy look. And it has yellow flowers and yellow stripes on the leaves. When we checked the picture of Kote, the emperors, they all wore yellow. A broad and stocky body wears yellow. I guess that's why this little plant gets its name. Corte has short, thick leaves with pointed ends. The leaves curve a little bit downward, mimic a kind of short footed chickens kept as pets in Japan. This particular leaf shape could be seen in many varieties of New Phoenicia. It has been called as Chaboha. Chabo is the name of the chicken. Ha means leaves. A famous variety of New Phoenicia called Mise Chabo is the most typical one with Chaboha. Kote has sami on the leaves. Sami means ink. It looks like back lines someone drew with a brush. Some are solid black and some are intermittent. Very interesting marking. Corte also has yellow stripes on its leaves. Mine is not as significant, only some on the top leaf. But here's the one has really magnificent stripes all over the plant. And you can see the stripes are not continuous. Stripes could happen from anywhere on the leaf and be very short. They could also be thick and cover the whole leaf. It kind of like chilifu on fukaku, but not exactly the same. Very unique stripes. Kote has a brother called Kirari. They're technically the same variety. They share the shape of leaves and the sami on the leaves. But Kote has yellow stripes while Kirari doesn't. Both of them have yellow flowers, but very hard to bloom. I didn't find any bloom photo of Kote, but I found a bloom photo of Kirari. It seems Kirari and Kote has 25% of other Vanda orchid gene. That's why the flowers are yellow instead of normal white. And the blogger who posted these photos said this variety has thicker roots and flowers than normal, so it might be the mutation of 4 times chromosomes. Okay, so there are 4 features of Kote. Chaboha, Sumi yellow stripes and flowers. For me, I only have Chaboha and Sumi right now, but the yellow stripes already started to pair on the top leaf. Very exciting to see how it grows. There's a saying that too much green on the variegated type is because of too much fertilizer. So I might reduce the fertilizer on this one and see if it works. I made this pot with polymer clay. I choose the yellow and orange color to match the clothes of Chinese emperor and the yellow flower of the plant. I made a little emperor on the front. He has some mustaches and wears a black hat. I also made an inner pot to support the orchid and give the airy space under the roots. I spent about two hours to make this pot set. It's not that complicated. I'm glad it gives the plant a unique characteristic. Thank you for watching this video. Bye!